Hey, how's it going guys? It's Zedai here. So I wanted to make a relatively quick video to say that The Last of Us Part 2 is officially basically going to be announced sometime soon. Now we do not have the confirmation in terms of if it does get announced and also uh, if it can be coming sometime soon as well. But we can say due to Tom Henderson himself basically clarifying and verifying that indeed this is the real deal. So we can definitely expect The Last of Us Part 2 for as a native port for the PlayStation 5. We do not know, unfortunately, it's going to be like maybe similar to uh, Director's Cut like it was done for Death Strandings, you know, Director's Cut or the Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. But nevertheless, we can definitely expect at least something, right? But we don't know what to expect included in terms of the PlayStation 5 native port. And also, how much will it be costing? 10 additional dollars? Is it going to be a free port? Is it going to be a full payment price tag? Because, well, you never know. With The Last of Us Part 1, you know, being as a remake, that costs $70. A full price tag of a game, even though we already have experienced it. And yet, yet, <laughs> well, it was the exact same experience. Nevertheless, well, it definitely was up updated and upgraded. But The Last of Us Part 2 is not, not to say that it definitely deserves like a remake. Uh, hell, I don't even think I can even say it deserves a remaster since, well, it's already in the best quality state that it could have been and it is. And as such, well, we just have to wait a little bit longer for its inevitable release and of course the announcement. A lot of people are speculating that basically Last of Us Part 2 shall be announced at the Game Awards of 2023, so in a couple of few more weeks, and that's when we will know of the release as well. You know, Last of Us Part 2 for the native port being for the PlayStation 5, it was inevitable. It was supposed to be coming sometime soon. We do not we did not know why it didn't come out anytime sooner. But now with the delay and perhaps even putting the game on ice, I'm talking about factions 2, the multiplayer mode for The Last of Us. Well, you know, Naughty Dog doesn't really have much going on for them, at least for quite a long time, mind you. So at the moment, they're working on something else, perhaps something entirely brand new. Maybe it lasts part three, we do not know, or maybe multiple projects at the same time. But the issue kind of, of course, rises that what do they have in store for us? Uh, that could be coming relatively soon. And other than Last of Us Part 2 for PlayStation 5, they really do not have anything else. At least that could be coming sometime soon, well, presumably in 2024. Because, well, we actually did not get pretty much any brand new releases from Naughty Dog since 2020, and that being The Last of Us Part 2. Now, nevertheless, of course, there were some updates like introduction with the 60 FPS mode and also a more or less of a re-release for the PlayStation 5 native port of the Naughty Dogs Uncharted, The Lost Legacy, and of course Uncharted 4 being combined together. So even though they were fantastic ports and they were fantastic games, but yet again they are, well, re-releases. And so we're basically seeing the same thing done, well this time for The Last of Us Part 2. I just hope we actually get to see some additional features and maybe even additional, well, add-ons in terms of like an ex an expansion towards the story or something at least something give us something other than just having an improvement in visuals and also the fidelity and like i say the performance as well but yet i don't know what to make out of this we do not know what's going to be happening now for the time being at least coming from naughty dog it is kind of a little bit concerning but nevertheless i'm still looking forward to experience this game on my playstation 5 and just in general to re-experience this game because this game mind you in my opinion it's a fantastic adventure and a fantastic story. Now, I'm sure that, like a lot of you will say, well, I did not like it as much because obviously the game, well, it came out, it was quite controversial. A lot of people liked it, a lot of people didn't. And you know what? I totally understand and I definitely see both sides of that story. Since being, you know, how dark of and how moody the game was, I totally get why a lot of people dislike that uh, game as well. But, you know, I just want to experience it. It's been already three years since the last time I played it, even though I already got the Platinum Trophy for the PlayStation 4 version. Yeah, knowing myself, I'll definitely go for the PS5 version of that Platinum as well. But I'm curious to see, you know, will it there be a transfer availability as well? So if there is, I'm obviously going to take this opportunity and use it. But I'm definitely going to re-experience the story once again, since it was a fantastic story. I love the gameplay. And yeah, everything about it, it's just, well, it sung, it sung to me, basically. I really liked it. Well, that's all I wanted to have a little bit of discussion regarding the upcoming and inevitable of the release of The Last of Us Part 2, natively for the PlayStation 5. 
I'm just glad the way it's not just a simple update. Even though we actually technically did get an update that actually unlocked the 60 FPS mode, mainly for the PlayStation 5, of course. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. See you guys all later. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful day.